think it makes it much more difficult, right? Because uh, things are changing. Um, just, uh, I think September 12th, there was the announcement of the O1 version, right? Which is supposedly to be at the PhD level. And uh, if you know Terence Tao, the smartest math guy in the world uh, at UCLA, and you, they asked him what he thinks of the, uh, of the uh, O1 version, and he was saying he's the level of a mediocre PhD guy. So that's not too bad, right? The mediocre PhD guy, but uh, maybe, uh, what's the other, um, the other one's like 1,000 days is the, uh, <laughs> the other um, time that we have. So maybe you'll have very good PhD level. So I think a lot of what we're talking about, and I think there's a presentation that was done today by someone, I forgot whom, about the agentic approach um, incentive. In the, the, uh, yeah, the, so I think those are good things that are happening, and it makes, it makes our uh, strategy a little more difficult to get a handle on, because the things that we're looking at, they're changing as well. So I think that's a great blessing. Um, if you take a step back and look at this technology, I think for me, it's, uh, it's really, really cool because it's conversation. So there's, I heard of some uh, professors at university that decided not to teach anymore because they say that the AI would do a better job. And the reason for that is that normally we give lecture as uh, professors, and whereas this thing, you can interact. And so basically you can ask questions where you have difficulties, you don't understand, and you can zero in. Another way to look at this is you can, do you prefer to watch a video or play a video game? Because the video game, you can move it the way you want to move it. Whereas the video is like a one way you have to watch the video, right? So you can see that this is super exciting. Um, one of the things about teaching or even learning is debugging. So oftentimes when we don't understand something, is there something that, an assumption that we have wrong, or something that we're not thinking of, and that's why we miss something we don't understand. And if the AI is smart enough to debug you, and we say, oh, by the way, remember that stuff, or you're thinking it this way, but actually it's the other way around, and then you go, ah, yes, silly me, I get it, right? So I think that's going to have a huge impact on the way we deliver and consume the info, whether it be in general or uh, commercial analytics or medical affairs, whatever stuff, but that's going to be very huge and our strategy has to understand that, and I think that's going to be a big challenge.